Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about DynamoDB, so which is a NoSQL database. So let's go ahead and start. So basically in this video, we are going to create the table, write the data, read the data, and update the data. So let's go ahead and see how that is done. So initially, uh, to uh, redirect to this uh, particular console, you have to click services. Since it's a database, go to the database section, which is here. And here, select the DynamoDB. So we also discussed about uh, DynamoDB in our Instagram channel. So let me show you, like uh, we have discussed about uh, what are uh, what is DynamoDB, what is tables, items, attributes, as well as like the partition key and the sort key. So which we'll be using when we are going to create uh, the DynamoDB, right? So uh, do, uh, do check my Instagram channel. I'll be keeping that in the description for your reference. So saying that, let's go ahead and create the table. So create the table and in this case, let's add uh, the table name as uh, sample music according to the docs. And uh, the partition key artist. And uh, the sort kits are optional, but we can uh, keep it. So in this case, I'll add it as song title. So since like these both are string, I'm just adding a string. So if that is a different one, uh, make sure you change it. So in this case, we have uh, default settings. So I'm just uh, selecting those default settings. And uh, however, if you select the customer uh, settings, we have other options too, like table classes, like read and uh, write capacity settings and so on. So which we also discussed in our uh, Instagram channel. So just uh, letting you know that uh, we have all these in our uh, Instagram channel, which we have discussed. So do check that out. So saying that, let's go back and uh, Let's select the default uh, settings and create. So if you want to add tags, you can, but in this case, I'm leaving it as default and create the table. So once the table is done, the next step is writing the data. So let's wait for that. Right now it's creating, let's refresh it. There you go. So it has been created. Now under the tables, you can see we are under the tables, we have uh, sample music that we have created. So if you click the sample, uh, table, we've got different options. So in this case, we have to write the data. So right now we just have the table, but no data in it, right? So we have to update the table, like we have to add uh, the data to it. So meanwhile, like we have other options to indexes, like the monitoring stuff. And uh, you see, since we just created, we don't have any uh, graphs related to this. However, like we have global tables. So right now uh, we have zero replicas related to this particular table. You can just clear, uh, create this replica and uh, select the region. So in this case, uh, let's select Euro Paris and uh, this particular uh, database replica can, will be created in that particular region. So go back here and uh, backups, you can add it. So, Let's go ahead and uh, export the table. And uh, here we have items. So right now we don't have any items. So let's go ahead and create some. So create item and coming to artist. Let us keep my name is artist and coming to song title, sample song. So since both are uh, string values, they're string, but however, see, you can add some other uh, data as well. Let's say I just wanted to add the number. You can just uh, add the number, let's say like uh, awards. So how many awards I got, like maybe let's say 10. So that's how you can just add it uh, based on your needs. So this is uh, one way that you can add. The other one is using the JSON format. So if you click the JSON, you see all the details have been uh, populated and this is what we have written. So you can just create the item based on that, right? So in this case, we are going to create uh, uh, this particular item so create item done. So we have created this item related to artist uh, and uh, the song title. So we have completed uh, creating the data. The next thing is reading the data. So how can we read the data? Similarly, it's, uh, you see, <clears throat> here we have this query option. So like, I don't know, just we have only one item uh, in that table, but you see like there will be multiple items. So from here you can uh, query those. So in this table, you can add the artist name. So in this case, Ravi, so that you can see, uh, you know, you can get my information. So right now, Ravi is not there. Why he is not there? There you go. So it's the capital R. So that's reason. Uh, 
uh, we were not able to see. So Ravi, you see, uh, we have got the information and uh, you can also add uh, the sort key, which is the secondary. So if I, let's say there are like multiple Ravis and you have some other uh, song title. So in this case, sample song. So let's say if I add this sample, so the answer will be zero. So there is no items related to that. So sample song, there you go. We have got our information. So that is how we can uh, get the information related to those uh, tables. Let's say you want to update those tables. So how can you do that? So let's click here and uh, actions, edit items, and you can add it, add other attributes like uh, binary and so on. You can just add it and just save the changes. It will be updated. So that is how you can create it. And similarly, you can uh, do your queries as well as scans. So, yep. So I just wanted to give you the basic idea about how these uh, DynamoDB work, like creating the tables and so on. So coming to this video, I hope you guys understood the concept of today's video. And uh, if you like the video, please click the like button below. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And I'll be keeping the Instagram uh, link in my description. So please do check that out. And uh, thank you, everyone.